Got it. I think I got it. Yes? Yes! Bloopy is mine. Whew, and it was not where I, I thought it would be. Ugh. Let's... Let's let loose some of our frustration on this bloopy. Bling. Blap. Bloop. Blop. Sclop. That's a lot of money! Let's see, are we are at 536? So, we're gonna be getting... Future Pal, please do the math for me. 536 to... 643? What is that? 90... No, that's 100 and... One four, it was 536, so that was like 107, right? Future Pal, is that correct? 107 rupees from one bloopy. That's not a bad way to make money. Glowy Hoppy! Oh, Mr. Hero, did you bring it for me? Here you go. It's, you know, it's a picture. I got a couple. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Is that a real bloopy? Yes, it is. It was blue and pee at the same time. Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined. Thanks so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, and here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. S wow, I was expecting a red rupee. Oh yeah, Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you could all you could should shoot a an arrow at a bloopy. I hear they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to see something so cool. Peeks is so happy right now. As am I, because that is another trial, another quest scratched off of our list. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we discovered Fang, was it called, like, Fang and Bone, was it? Yeah, the, where are my quests? They're there. We discovered Kilton who runs this shop, which we have yet to understand, or fully understand, what he sells. It just has something to do with monsters, so we're going to be finding that out this episode, as well as knocking out some more quests. Uh, with the royal recipe, we cannot complete because it requires us to go into Hyrule Castle. Uh, royal Guard's gear is the same. Eighth heroine allow uh, requires us to go into a new area. The weapon connoisseur, I have been told that my hunch was correct, that frost spears are indeed found in the northwestern region of the map, which we haven't been in yet. Uh, from the ground up, Rito, yeah, that's northwestern. x Royal Guard, yes. But the ancient horse rumors is something that we can check out. Let's see, did we do this? Yeah, we did this. So the X, uh, the X ancient horse rumors are something that we can check out, and apparently it gives us a bridle which adds two additional spurs to our horse, as well as does something else. I forget what. So we are going to be first going to try and find Kilton. Apparently he can be found at any of the major cities at night, so I shouldn't have to be doing much off-screen uh, searching for him. And yeah, let's let's go do that. Oh, there he is. I I was <laughs> rounding the last side of this the town and not seeing Gilton. I was starting to doubt your advice, but I should know better at this point than to doubt you because I don't think you've ever led me astray. You've never trolled in the comments, and I shouldn't be surprised when your advice isn't immediately apparent because it will it will reveal itself to me. So, Kilton is over here. Looks very evil. Does not look like something that I should be visiting. Uh, but it doesn't. It's not actually ha half bad. I've I've heard that there are good things. Hey, <laughs> hang! Ah, oh, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as how you're the first-time customer here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business would be converting your monster parts to Mon. Mon is money, right? Hmm. Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Just kidding. There's no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turned them into money. Here's the deal. If you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So let's exchange the monster parts you have for mon. 
Sure. Oh, thank you very much. So now, what will you exchange for Mon? Uh, you said monster parts. How much does one of these fetch? 60 Mon. But the going rate is 3... Okay. So it... Actually, wait, is this just a straight... This is a straight conversion from rupees, isn't it? Because all of these, if I recall, are worth the same as their rupee counterpart. With the exception of possibly for uh, Farash's scale, because I believe that's worth 1 or 200 rupees. So, I guess the going rate here would be... Hmm. Okay, these are counted. That, those give 100, which... I'm not going to be giving any, any ancient cores away, but that is good to keep in mind. Let's just start with the key swings and give half of them away. Or, sorry, exchange half of them. That would be 50... I don't know, like... 59, and then I'll have 50, or, uh, 60 left, right? Yeah. That gives us 100. So, what do we get to buy for these? I would like to spend some. Da-da-da! I have developed a killer piece of monster gear. I call it the Lionel Mask. Lionels are monsters that are half man, half horse. And half lion. You can't forget that. They are definitely half lion. They're absolutely vicious. They wield a multipude, multipude, a multitude of weapons with incredible strength and grace. If I was a monster, I'd want to be a Lionel for sure. Actually, I was almost killed by a Lionel while designing this mask. It was one of the best moments of my life. Uh. Okay. Anywho, this incredible mask can fool Lionels into thinking that you're one of them. Try it for yourself. It's quite a rush. Your current balance is 118. What monster gear would you like to buy? So we can get monster extract, which is used in making meals. A wooden mop! Oh, that, that makes me happy. You can buy a wooden mop. Okay. Uh, a spring-loaded hammer. Okay. It, being struck doesn't hurt much, but the fourth swing in a string of attacks will send the victim flying. That sounds hilarious. That actually sounds useful. Uh, Bakalin mask. So we get all sorts of things that we can get. But specifically, what do these do? It includes a mask that conceals the horse's head? Alright. Huh. Weird. So we can use it for something. I don't know what, but we can. And then these cost a giant portion of of stuff so i'm going to have to exchange a lot more for these but i do get a a good indication on what i should be getting i should probably start with the monster bridles first and then move on to the expensive stuff and then move down because i don't really need the bakoblin mask to be completely honest having exchanged the <laughs> lion share of my my monster parts I have a sizable sum, so much so I might be able to just buy everything here. I'll get the monster saddle. I have no clue what it's for, or what it does, but we'll get it. Uh, you know, the, you tell me in the comments what it does, and I'll use it. The Lionel mask is ours. For a second, I thought they misspelled. S <laughs> I thought they misspelled smart in the last line of the Lionel Mask's description, but then I realized that smart is not spelled S-M-E-R-T, and that I am, you know, a, I am part of the pop culture and am too used to memes. So we're actually getting all of this, aren't we? I think we are. Okay. A uh, Moblin Mask? Yeah, I'll buy that too. And then let's buy this. And I really want to try out the, the spring-loaded hammer. I may not have inventory space for it. Oh, I do. Okay. Spring-loaded hammer is ours. Let's let's look at this thing. Also, I kind of like the fact that we don't... He's not dependent on the region you need to be in. It seems like everything that I just got here is all that he sells. Like, I'm not going to go to the Linnea region and then find different... That he sells different things there. He's not Beetle. He's Kilton. And he does his own thing. So, monster, or the, the hammer. I thought it was a two-handed weapon. It is not. So the fourth hit of this thing sends people flying. So the fourth hit swing and a string of attacks will send the victim flying. So, two, three, four. That swing will send people flying. So that'll be an easy thing to test out. Otherwise, 
It's been a while since we've seen Hart. And the reason why I chose him, if I can prance over here, real real cute heart. Look at that. Your your heart at work doing these these fancy maneuvers. Let's talk to Woman. Hello there, traveler. Welcome to our stable. You can you will stay a while, won't you? Oh. Have I not done this before? I thought I've done this before. Oh, that's a mighty fine horse you have there. If you're interested, may I help you change your horse's gear or mane? I'm 99% sure I, I've done this before, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't on recording or just never done it, but you can go to the Woodland Stable. I think there are a couple other stables that you can do this on as well. And maybe the reason why I'm getting this cutscene is because I've never done it here specifically, uh, but you can change your horse's your horse's uh, bridles and such. So I, the reason why I chose Hart is because, if you recall, we stole Hart. Originally, he was a a Bokoblin's horse, and we stole him. Wow, this one's eyes are positively sparkling with affection. I can tell this little one is just head over heels for you. That settles it. I'll gladly help you out with some gear. And so I figured he would be a good a good target victim. Actually, let's first do the bridle. He would be a good target for the monster bridle. Because we got him from monsters. So it, it just seems like a, you know, a, a, a plus B or a, a squared plus B squared equals C squared type thing. So let's put all the monster stuff on him. Yeah. Does this give you a little bit of nostalgia, buddy? I mean, we were at max bond when we got him, so either he was very glad that we quote-unquote rescued, and I guess this doesn't... Oh, I guess it, it, this changes the tale. He was either really glad that we rescued him, or he was just in a good mood from uh, from the gobl or bokoblins. I want to keep calling them goblins, but that's... That's what on earth? You can color them? What? Wait. This is what? Why? I kind of want to do a green mane, because it fits the monster theme, but purple also fits. That's not too good. That looks weird. Red mane would also work. That's This is cool. I didn't know you could dye them. Yeah, we're going to do the purple mane. It Most of the game is green. Very much, very little of it is actually purple. So purple mane on heart. I think that, that looks pretty monstrous. I'm done. I, I like this. That looks great. Please come back anytime you feel like changing your horse's gear. Oh, heart looks actually kind of cool. I'll, I'll be honest. He looks pretty cool with this. I mean, maybe it would have been better if he had different colorings, but, I mean, we, we're not going to complain about Hart's colorings. This is Hart we're talking about. This is our first horse. Our first real horse that we registered and named and everything. And I think, I think this looks good. I like this. In fact, if we... Uh, yeah, equip that. Yeah, does this bring back memories of, you know, your go your goblin heritage? That looks cool. Alright, uh, let's see. It looks like that we can do other things. Now, aggro, I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch aggro with a 10-foot barge pole because aggro is supposed to look wild and untamed. That's just kind of her thing from... Shadow of the Colossus. We could make Camel look evil. That's possible. Uh, he did have the bridling and stuff on in Ocarina of Time. Uh, Sif we could also, although it looks like our only options here are the monstrous set. So I, I don't know what to do with that, but I do know what we're doing with the rest of this episode. Ancient Horse Rumors, where we can get a saddle. That will summon our horse. Oh, that's what it does. It summons our horse right next to us, regardless of where it is. And it increases the amount of stars or, or spurs that we have on it. What is Link doing? What? Is Link doing that because he's wearing the mask? What? So if we equip another mask, does it... Oh, he's in different... Oh, he does different stances. That is cool. He, he mimics them. Like, look at look at his little head movements. What happens if he does this? Yeah, that, that, okay, that's fair. I was, I was wondering, how is he going to mimic a Lionel? That's how. Right there. Right there. All right, so let's go over to the Woodland or Highland Stable and uncover the Rumor Mill X. 
Master. Yeah. You're a nomad. Suppose you've already seen the horses around this prairie then. I grew up taming horses around these parts. I'm confident there's not a rider, and I rule better than me. I've got just the way to prove it. A little game to test which fella's better in the saddle. And I almost never lose. What do you think? Do you have the grit to step up and challenge the master? Sure. Well, shoot, fella. You. Oh, I need a horse. Uh, let's... Let's read the rumor mill first, then come back to that guy with our horse to earn some free money because we're awesome. What? Who are you? Oh, wait. Oh, it's you. Oh. We'll get to you later. Rumor Mill. Rumor Mill X, Volume 3. I've loved rumors since before I was born. Pa in fact, I was the first to report on my rumored birthday. What? Okay. Tracy here. This time I've got a juicy bit of gossip I've been dying to share. Ancient horse gear is real, and it's fabulous. Apparently, there's some incredible horse gear from Hyrule's distant past. I'm talking the long, long ago, folks. A bridle that increases your horse's skill in a saddle that can instantly summon your horse to your side. The bridle is south of Hyrule Bridge, beneath a cherry blossom tree at the mountain where creatures gather. The saddle is at a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. I wonder where that is. derp derp well, That's easy. At least, that's what the rumors say. Looks like the ancients like to horse around. I need that gear. Tracy recommendation, five stars out of five hippopotamuses. Alright, well, we'll get to that in a second. First, we need to take out a horse. And, let's see, do we have a... Looks like she is here, so we can uh, put a bridle on another horse. We're not going to be putting anything on aggro, so I'll grab Sif. We'll get to see... Almost all of the horses this episode. Uh -huh. And there you go. Thanks for choosing yeah. us for all your horsey needs. Yes. Thank you for giving me my own property. All right. First, let's fix him up with a bridle. That looks great. Please come back anytime you feel like changing your horse's gear. I thought we had the Traveler's bridle. And I thought that came with the DLC. So I decided to look up, you know, why don't I have it? But apparently, you only get that through the Link Rider amiibo, which I don't have. So, the only thing I did change on Sif was giving him the Mohawk Mane. Because he's named after a... A wolf uh, from... Let's see, a wolf from Dark Souls, as well as, you know, like, the, the name I would have for a dragon if, you know, they were real. Don't, don't question me. It's, it's a name from when I was a child, okay? Don't... Don't flame me for having my own OC. <laughs> uh, I gave him the the Mohawk Mane. Ooh. So let's talk to you. Hi, I knew you'd be... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. Come to unseat the champion. There's just... Yeah, here's the rupees. I'm, I'm done with this voice. Good luck. What am I supposed to be doing here? I don't know. But we're doing it, and it's a surprise quest. Oh... All right, hunker down and listen up. Ride your horse around this grassy field while jumping the obstacles. There are ten. Don't... Oh, you don't get to cross the finish line till you jump them all. Then when you clear the last one, ride back here. Simple. Yes. Uh, you don't dismount your horse or you're out of the running. Not, not that you need telling, right? The difficult part about this is the fact that you can't just recklessly ride as fast as you can. In order to clear the obstacles on the path, you need to be able to control your horse very well. If you can beat my personal best time, I will give you some mighty fine horse gear. Oh. oh why don't you aim for 1 minute and 30 seconds first? My time's 1 minute 15. If you can beat that, cool. Alright, so it looks like there's no path. It's something of our own making. We have 10 to go for... So I guess I'll start here. There's one. And we'll grab this one. And then that one. And circle around to the left. And I... This... Oh, that was that was close. Yeah, so this... I guess I was I was worried a bit that this... Was going... Was not going to be linear. But it feels pretty linear. It, it really does. So let's jump this. I don't know why our horse is... Why Sif is not liking us right now. Jump this. Circle. And jump. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. 
Apparently we can't jump two things at once. Circle, quickly, we have a few seconds left. Or not a few, but you know, we have 15. There's one. And we have three left. So, one is here, we're gonna have to line that up. One is here. And the other one, we have five seconds left. I don't think we're gonna do it. We did that, but we still have to make it to the finish line. So we didn't beat his time, but we did beat the chosen time of 1 minute 30 seconds. So in theory, I can just do this again, and now that I know the route, I can, I can do this fairly easily. My time was 119. Oh. That's a good run. You better get ev you get better every time you ride. Here's that horse gear I promised you. Keep at it, and maybe you'll someday you'll be on my level. Extravagant bridle, which I think we know what we're going to be equipping to to Sith. Most often used in festivals, this gem of a bridle is decorated with some charming little feathers. It's great for adding just a splash of color to any horse. Want to try again? You know what? Let's do it. Great. Uh, there's just a little matter of the actually. Wait a minute. Oh. I have a I have a thing I can do first. He didn't say that steroids aren't legal, and so I can just feed, you know, a few Endura carrots to my horse. Spin around. Nothing's wrong with them. Just don't do a blood test. Yes, I would like to do this. Here's our 20 rupees for your labor in setting up the jumps. <laughs> now that I have three extra, uh, three extra spurs here, I think I can, I think I can make this work. Let's circle around, and then take a hard left. So that we can line ourselves up for the next thing. I think that's really the technique here. Uh, if we can... Once we jump, obviously we can't change direction in mid-air. Dragon Ball Super has taught us that, that enough already. So, I need to be aiming for the next jump while I make the jump before it. So, like this. Before... Whoa. Uh, never mind. Let's circle around again. We don't have much time left. That might have cost us. And now we're about to make the same mistake, or... No, Sif's handling is good enough. Whoa! Why? Why? <sighs> okay, well, I guess we failed it again. Sif, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? What is, what is this malarkey? He is not going the direction that I am telling him to. At all. Come on. Okay. I think those, uh, I think he just got overdosed, actually. I think that's what's happening here. I think Sif just overdosed on Endura Carrots. This time I brought out the big guns. Uh, aggro. <laughs> what on earth? This, this jump, this jump is cursed. 100% this jump is absolutely cursed. We're gonna try this and just... Stupid horse. Oh my word. This is so dumb. I aim it correctly and the horse is like, yeah, no, I, I'm just going to run around it, actually. Uh, I'm not sure about you, but, you know, it's it's. I, I don't really feel like living today. Yeah, see? Look at, look at that. Look at that malarkey. I am convinced that either the game is bugged or there's actually something on that jump that's just coded badly. Like, look at it. Okay, I'm aimed perfectly. And the horse, wow, the horse actually did it. Okay, so when the stars align, when Pluto has become a planet once more, oh my word, when Pluto becomes a planet again, I'm going to fail the drop again. When Pluto becomes a planet and th th Jupiter has absorbed enough, like, helium to become a star is the day that I can make that jump. Line it up. Okay, I was boosting there. So that's that's just straight up bugged. Th this is actually glitched. Why? Why? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bugged. Bugged. So far bugged. Glitched. Oh my... Nah, I'm tilted. I am so angry right now about this... Stupid jump. Okay, this is my idea. I go backwards here to jump that. 
And now I have all the all the space in the world to line up the jump, because it looks like the game kind of checks to see if the coast is clear after you make the jump. So as long as you're lined up there, you have a very slim window to do it. So I might be able to do it now on this attempt, providing I don't mess something up. I should be able to do it. I only have a few seconds left. So if I make this... I got it, I got it, I got it. Go for... Yes! 1 minute 14.74. I beat the system. That jump is very awkward. And I I still stand by my statement that maybe it's not... Well, it, it may not be glitched, but it's badly programmed. Uh, because a glitch is something not intended. And I think it's just badly programmed. It needs to be placed like 10 feet closer or or further than where it is because right now the game is like the horse looks at the jump and says oh there's a rock wall like 40 feet past this I can't make this jump because if my animation doesn't play right then I'm going to end up jumping into the side of the wall and then it's like well uh, just, the answer is don't jump so I I'm pretty sure that they just needed to move the orientation of it or, I don't know. But man's gotta abide by his word, so here's that horse gear I promised. The extravagant saddle, an ornamental saddle used in festivals, the delicate embroidery and an arrangement of gems leaves a lasting impression. It's perfect for those who want to stand out. I'll admit, I'm feeling let low down after all that, but someday I'll be back on top. You'll see. Want to try again? No, thank you. I have been upset enough by this. So... Let's see. Uh, wh what did we set out to do this episode? I don't even know how much time we have left. The cherry blossom on the mountain where creatures gather, and the other is in the spring where the horse spirit gathers. The spring is obviously... The... Oops. The spring is obviously... There. And I don't... I think this isn't real. Okay. There, that's obviously where the spring is. I believe the cherry blossom tree is somewhere down here, so I'm going to remove a pin and go there. Here's the horse spirit. So the chest should be somewhere around here. Uh, let me let me double check this. The mount or the spring where the horse spirit resides. So yeah, it's it's definitely here. The question is, where is it? And that it looks like my question is, was just answered. So right at the base of this little this little waterfall, this little drizzle is a chest and in that chest uh, but got it is the uh, saddle right ancient saddle a mysterious saddle made with forgotten ancient technology equip a horse with this and use down on the d-pad to call them even when they are far away that is that's great that is absolutely amazing so we can now just have our horse warp to us whenever we want that's pretty great there's a frog there's a frog got it I think I needed that frog, actually, for a quest. So, now that we've gotten that, we can now get the bridle, which resides presumably over by Lake Hylia. I would love to... Yeah, I would love to warp there, but this is this episode is all about horses, it seems. So, I'm going to keep Sif out, and I'm going to go there the, the manual method. Oh, that was a good shot. So I scoured this region. I went to every single mountain in the area. I went here, there, there, and there, which are the only high altitude areas in the region, discounting this one because they wouldn't put both br the bridle and the saddle right next to each other. And I turned up a, a uh, exact amount of nothing. I mean, I got a couple of Korok seeds, which you're going to be seeing in the end slate of this video. But otherwise, for all intents and purposes, I didn't get anything. So, I decided, since this is technically gear, and thus technically I still have permission to look things up, I did. I found out that I was way off base. It is, in fact, in an area which we haven't explored. So, I equipped aggro with the ancient saddle, <laughs> which allows us to warp her directly to us. And we're going to be going on a, a bit of an assassination mission here. Uh, let's equip our... This. 
We're going on an assassination uh, mission into this this region. Uh, so, as far as where it is, it should be directly west of the central tower, uh, which will lead us to that mountain. In fact, I should probably turn on the map just so I can I can know a vague direction of where I'm going. I should be ascending this mountain, and then. There's a, going to be a small, like, tunnel-ish area, and then I'll go up that, and then I'll, I should be good. So, the, also the good thing is, the rivers are no longer of any consequence to me. I was actually just worried about that, uh, and uh, about to make note of it. And, of course, there's a stupid Korok. I'm not, I'm not marked. Oh, wait, did I already get this? I already got it. Okay, that makes things easy. Riz rivers are no longer any consequence to me, because I can cross them. And... Once I get on the other side, I'll, I'll get up on some non-treacherous terrain so her, her, so aggro won't fall. And then I can just whistle. And we can even watch her warp over here. Bloop! And scribbloosh. Rivers don't mean anything, which is awesome. This is definitely the, the best, like one of the best convenience pieces of gear in the game. And of course, Makar is throwing a fit. I'm gonna check up here. Actually, I can see the I can see the Korok. Okay, that's that's easy. Uh, that's something I, I have been doing in recent episodes. Is I've been saving Koroks for the end slate of the video because I've noticed that they can they can really take out a lot of our momentum. We'll we'll just be going along like this, and this one was easy, but a lot of them aren't. A lot of them are completely out of our way, and also they're not really entertaining at all to to see. So I've been I've just been cutting them out and then throwing them in the end slate and I think it works I mean I haven't noticed any input from you uh, but I mean they're still in the episode and I don't need to find a gorgeous Vista every episode so I think it's I think it's a good change I, I, I think it's definitely a good change for the series okay I need to make sure I'm not accidentally gonna run up onto a cliff here uh, so directly west and there's actually a blue marker here and we may run across a shrine, we may run across some dangerous enemies. I'm I'm gonna kind of be acting, you know, like I don't want to see any evil, hear any evil, or do any evil. Uh, so I'll just be kind of co covering my my ears and just saying la 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 la. In fact, there's... Uh, we'll get that Korok, I'll, I'll cut that out. So yeah, I'll just be covering my ears. What is this herd of goats? Look at how many goats there are. And just kind of singing la 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 because I don't want to see anything. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to explore anywhere. Uh, I just want to follow up on your guys' desire for me to do this in the comment section. You know, actually thinking about it, this is... Oh, there's my narrow passageway. It did say a mountain where creatures gather, and this is a lot of creatures. I thought when it went, said creatures, it meant enemies. But thinking about it now, it just it specifically said creatures. What is this rock? Is there anything here? No. So let's just get get some of these these luminous stones and use magnesis. It should be around here somewhere. Well, here's a shrine, Moglaton Shrine. Oh, I forget. We're also looking for a cherry tree. If I can see, goodness, we're looking for a cherry tree as well. And of course, oh, there there's the cherry tree. We're also getting another Korok, it seems. I don't think we're meant to have a horse up here, but it's only thematic that we we trot up to the the magical tree with pride, with dignity, and with excitement because this is an area we've never been to before. No, 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 no. Let's not kill. <laughs> let's not uh, lose that dignity by having you die. Okay, let's jump off you, and the chest should be right there. All right, simple enough. Ugh. Now, as soon as we get this chest, I am going to run because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to spoil myself for something that might be in this area that I shouldn't know about until I explore this area proper. So, let's warp out. Uh, go back to the Kamaka Shrine and end the episode there. As much as I am loath to change the look of our our aggro horse of our Shout of the Colossus horse. 
she is our best horse, and we're going to be using her a lot, so I think that I, it's, it's kind of a necessary evil to equip this. Also, I hope you don't mind that I, I took the... I compromised like I did. I, I did say that I didn't want to complete any quests in this area because it was a big unknown, and I would like to um, actually go into their proper before doing quests, but I felt like after the, the mass acclaim in the comment section to get this gear that I, th I thought y you guys would be fine with it as long as I did it and I'm going to be getting there eventually you it seemed like I like you would have been fine with it so let's Whoa! Oh, okay uh, <laughs> 10 spurs 10 spurs on our horse two from the ancient gear five base and three from Endura Carrots. <laughs> okay! Well, I can see why you wanted me to have this. Having ten spurs on a horse is, is no laughing matter. If I need to get out of a situation, or if I just want to travel, this is, this is how I should go about doing it. Also, the fact that I can just call my horse, and from anywhere, she will just appear, regardless of whether or not she's supposed to be there. Like, actually... While we end off the episode, there's something I would like to check. Can I have her on Mount Lanayru? That's the question of the hour. If I can, that's amazing. And while I run to a space where I could possibly have a horse, I would like to end the episode here. Uh, I do actually have a plan for the next episode. Oh, it does work! That's so... Uh, I don't think we're supposed to have a horse here, but... With the power of the ancient gear, we can. I, I also need to be very careful because this this is how you lose a horse. So I actually have a plan for the next episode, believe it or not. Uh, if we go to our quest log, you can see it's getting a bit thin. Uh, weapon connoisseur we can't complete. From the ground up we can't complete. The royal guard rumors, actually we don't have any quests left except for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I could work on, uh, but I would like some input before I do. And honestly, I don't think we're quite ready for that. Uh, I, and, and here's why, here's why, um, the, the Pierce Snowy Mountain is a place where we haven't been to, and when I do this quest, I would like to do it in its entirety in its own episode, I don't want to be doing part of it and then finishing it later, because I love Xenoblade, and I feel like they might add some sort of, like, story element from Xenoblade, I don't know, I don't know what kind of reference they would have, maybe we get the Monado, I don't know, uh, and so I'd like to dedicate that in its own episode. So what I was thinking we could do instead is recover some memories. Because looking at this, we're actually missing, let's see, let's count it out. We're only missing seven memories of, what is this, 20, right? Of 18. We're only missing seven of 18. And I know that we can get at least one next episode uh, because the uh, the painter guy is in that is in the stable that we were just at, and he always leads us to a memory. And I can visit other stables to see if he has a memory for me there. So, we may be able to knock out two, maybe three memories next episode. And other than that, I'm not sure what we would do. I, I really don't know. The, the list of things to do in areas we've already been to is growing thin, so maybe I'll recover one memory and be unable to find another, and then just go to the go to uh, the new area. We could do that. That's that's fine with me. As long as we've exhausted what we are have set out to do uh, and ex exhausted things in areas we've already been to, I am fine with going to a new area. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, actually, this is a good test. Yeah. Aggro doesn't follow the path, which means this is not intended. So that's pretty cool. Uh... If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Also, please comment saying what you would like me to do. If there's something you'd like to, me to go see or accomplish or find. Even if it's just a cool vista that you thought was is awesome and should be featured in an episode. Or a glitch. I don't know. The glitches are fun. I've already do shown off a glitch once in the LP that was suggested by a viewer. Uh, post it in the comments below, and I will find a a part of an episode to feature it in. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time.
for more Amazing Zelda with tense purse. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this is where this path leads. So we are not by any means intended to have a horse here. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. Taste it.